The Old Guitarist is an oil painting by Pablo Picasso, which he created in late 1903 and early 1904. It depicts an elderly musician, a haggard man with threadbare clothing, who is hunched over his guitar while playing in the streets of Barcelona, Spain. It is on display at the Art Institute of Chicago as part of the Helen Birch Bartlett Memorial Collection. At the time of the old guitarist's creation, modernism, impressionism, post-impressionism, and symbolism had greatly influenced Picasso's style. Furthermore, Picasso's poor standard of living and the suicide of a dear friend influenced Picasso's style at the time which came to be known as his Blue Period. Several X-rays, infrared images and examinations by curators revealed three different figures hidden behind the old guitarist. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. At the time, Having renounced his classical and traditional education and searching for fame, Picasso and his friend Carlos Casagimas moved to Paris. A year later, Casagimas became hopelessly miserable from a failed love affair and committed suicide. Picasso was greatly afflicted by this event and was soon depressed and desolate. In addition, Picasso was very poor. His poverty made him identify and relate to beggars, prostitutes and other downtrodden outcasts in society. These events and circumstances were the impetus for the beginning of Picasso's Blue Period which lasted from 1901 to 1904. The Blue Period is identified by the flat expanses of blues, grays and blacks, melancholy figures lost in contemplation and a deep and significant tragedy. After the Blue Period came Picasso's Rose Period, and eventually the Cubism movement which Picasso co-founded. This period's starting point is uncertain it may have begun in Spain in the spring of 1901 or in Paris in the second half of the year. Picasso was influenced by a journey through Spain and by the suicide of his friend Carl's Casagimas who took his life at the Lipodrome Café in Paris, France by shooting himself in the right temple on February 17, 1901. Although Picasso himself later recalled, I started painting in blue when I learned of Casagimas' death, art historian Helene Seckel has written while we might be right to retain this psychologizing justification, we ought not lose sight of the chronology of events Picasso was not there when Casagimas committed suicide in Paris. When Picasso returned to Paris in May, he stayed in the studio of his departed friend, where he worked for several more weeks to prepare his exhibition for Vallard. The works Picasso painted for his show at Ambrose Vollard's gallery that summer were generally characterized by a dazzling palette and exuberant subject matter. In the latter part of 1901, Picasso sank into a severe depression and blue tones began to dominate his paintings. Picasso's painting La Morte de Casagimas, completed early in the year following his friend's suicide, was done in hot, bright hues. The painting considered the first of his blue period, Casagimas in his coffin, was completed later in 1901 when Picasso was sinking into a major depression. Picasso, normally an outgoing socializer, withdrew from his friends. Picasso's bout of depression was to last several years. Picasso's career had been promising before 1901 and early in that year, he was making a splash in Paris. However, as he moved towards subject matter such as society's poor and outcast, and accented this with a cool, anguished mood with blue hues, the critics and the public turned away from his works. Members of the public were uninterested in displaying the blue period works in their homes. 
Picasso continued his output, but his financial situation suffered. His pictures, not merely melancholy but profoundly depressed and cheerless, inspired no affection in the public or in buyers. It was not poverty that led him to paint the impoverished outsiders of society, but rather the fact that he painted them that made him poor himself. From 1901 to 1903, he painted several posthumous portraits of Casajimas, culminating in the gloomy allegorical painting La Vie, painted in 1903 and now in the Cleveland Museum of Art. The same mood pervades the well-known etching The Frugal Repast, which depicts a blind man and a sighted woman, both emaciated, seated at a nearly bare table. Blindness is a recurrent theme in Picasso's works of this period. Other frequent subjects include female nudes and mothers with children. Solitary figures dominate his blue period works. Themes of loneliness, poverty and despair pervade the works as well. Possibly his most well-known work from this period is The Old Guitarist. Picasso's blue period was followed by his rose period. Picasso's bout with depression gradually ended, and as his psychological state improved, he moved towards more joyful, vibrant works and emphasized the use of pinks, rose, and other warm hues to express the shift in mood and subject matter. The painting portrait of Suzanne Bloch, 1904, one of the final works from this period, was stolen from the Sao Paulo Museum of Art, MASP, on December 20, 2007, but retrieved on January 8, 2008. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like, comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.